Hey everyone, this is Sam, and welcome to the channel. And in this video today, we'll be talking about how you can survive on Elder Ring with the specific combat tips that I plan to show you. And with these weapon combat tips, you're gonna have the perfect combos and you're gonna learn how to figure out where your enemy's weak spots are so you can use specific combos to take them down. And when it's all said and done, you're gonna be able to create gameplay like this where you figure out an enemy's weak spot and you also figure out the best kind of animation and combos for your weapon. So then you just end up really exposing them, even though Elden Ring is meant to be a pretty hard game and it sometimes can be. But if you learn this process and learn how to do this with your combat and your weapon, you can put it all together and I guarantee you, you will have a pretty good time and you'll feel pretty rewarded by the experience, all right? So let's get right into it and let's help you survive in Elden Ring. So if you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing and adding us a like. Also, you can click on the link in the description below or the card above and you can see all of the videos we have covered on all RPGs this year. Now, let's begin by comparing bad combat clips and good combat clips so you can understand fundamentally just what you have to change to, you know, improve significantly. So in these bad sequences, you can see I am pretty much having terrible positioning where I'm just getting hit by the enemy with his strongest attacks and no matter how much healing I do, there's just no recovering from this. Now on the other hand, let's compare that with some good combat sequences and you can see this is night and day. There's much better pacing here, there's a sense of accuracy, high damage and most important of all, I'm completely safe in this entire sequence. And there are three factors that is creating this and I'm going to teach you how you can learn those and maximize it for yourself. So these three essential aspects are one, positional awareness, two, combo preparation with your weapon, and three, in-game execution. So let's use this tree sentinel fight as an example. A very early boss in the game, but a difficult fight nonetheless. So step one, you have to find your position or spots in the fight to expose enemy limitations. So in the case of the Tree Sentinel, for example, all of his attacks come from his right side because he's got a shield on the left. So you got to understand where the attacks are coming from, how fast they are coming, and because they're all coming from the right side, you pretty much don't want to engage him on that side. And if you do, you're going to have to pay for it. So this is always step one when you try to figure out an enemy's weak spots. Just see where the attack is coming from. And this is going to apply to not just the Tree Sentinel. It's going to be for every enemy. But if you learn how to do it with him, you can carry that knowledge over to other types. So here you can see on the opposite side, on the left, he's got a shield. But if you actually hit him there, you can do pretty high damage at 166. So the weapon I'm using is a thrusting sword. So it's got decent damage. And if I hit it at the right spot, gonna hurt. So now I'm gonna go into my combo preparation because I know the enemy I'm facing has a weak spot on the left and too strong on the right. So here you can see me do the L2 tap with an offhand weapon, no shield, and I'll do this thrust. Now, because I know the enemy I'm facing has got that weakness to the right, I'm gonna add in a dodge with that L2 thrust and this is the go-to combo I'm gonna use in this specific fight. I can use this in other fights too, but for this one, it's gonna be good because now we know our spots and now we've also figured out which combo to use for this specific enemy to get to his weak spot to expose him. So we know he's got these slow attacks coming from the right, so we're going to dodge to his left. And he can't reach us, and every single time he attack, we're just going to dodge left. And then we're going to hit him with that L2 thrust right after he finishes his attacks because he's pretty slow on recovering. So you can see, dodge, L2 thrust, dodge again. Keep dodging, L2 thrust, and now we're, now we're staying away from his strong side, getting to his weak spot, and even if he hits us, it barely hurts. And you can see now the strategy is working. And this is essentially how you have to develop in most of your fights to properly survive in Elden Ring. You have to go in with this approach, you have to be flexible. You're not going to be able to overpower your enemies playing the same way, but you can outsmart them if you adjust. And those three factors are key. And you can never have more than enough combo options. So the dodge and the skill thrust is one but we're also going to add in this horseback light attack thrust and we're going to turn this into what i call the uh, horseback light attack cyclone combo so you're going to ride your horse in a circle and you're going to do the light attack and this fits very well into the enemy we're facing this tree sentinel because he's got that weakness on one side and he's doing all his attack on the other side if we do this light attack kind of cyclone around him you can see you can just keep damaging him and there's very little he can do. 
So initially he seems very strong, and he's also on a giant horse, you would think us on the tiny horse would be at a disadvantage. But you know, if you figure out the combos, you find his weak spots, you understand where the attacks are coming from and where he can't reach, then you can just expose him like this and you can see there is nothing he can do here because he is not built for this kind of combat. And obviously, as the fight went on, you can also just get off the horse and then do it the other way where you're going to keep dodging to his weak side and then you're going to hit, hit him with the stronger fuss. So there's plenty of options here. So now that you kind of understand this concept of, you know, weapon and the combat tips and the combo preparation. And the best thing about this game is the combos you have learned from one boss can actually be applied and carry over to the other. So if you figure one boss out, it also kind of preps you for the rest of the way. So you can see here, this is just one sequence, but it is much better to fight this way. So don't be stubborn. Don't go in thinking you can overpower the enemy by doing the same thing over and over again. That's not how Elden Ring works. Part of the deal is you're going to die a ton, but in the process, you're going to learn. And what you learn is going to carry over to your next boss fight. Like obviously right here, I'm dominating this tree sentinel, but I'll probably die upwards 15 plus times just trying to look at his combos and just study the way he moves, right? And you don't need crazy hand-eye coordination to do this. You just need to find his weak spot. So be patient. When you initially do this, just every fight really you get into, try to find the enemy's weak spot, find your attack that you can take advantage from those weak spots and you're gonna see a lot of great just a gameplay by yourself. And one thing I've learned as I have you know, started labbing and try to figure out the mechanics of the fighting, Horse fighting is kind of OP. So this did not just apply to the tree center, no. I'll have more videos, more tutorials coming to build off, you know, specific class builds, more weapon tutorials, etc. But so far, the horse fighting thing seems pretty real. I can do a lot of damage on horseback while being relatively safe. Not just against tree sentinel guy here, but also against uh, other mini bosses or other bosses where I have the choice to use a horse. But Probably not for the bigger fights, but it's still kind of funny that this works very well, especially when we're on the smaller horse. And for those of you interested in the uh, class build and equipment that was used in this fight or for this tutorial, here they are. So nothing too crazy, early game, but uh, there's the first thing sword. And I followed uh, Boomsticks Gaming's uh, recommendation on, you know, how to start the game early. So then I ended up with pretty similar gear, but... It's a good way to start the game and it kind of helped me out a ton here and you can also check out a lot of the tutorials on our playlist we have a lot of those uh, early game tutorials also but uh, if you enjoyed this content and you got any questions leave it in the comment section but in regards to surviving an elden ring i do believe those free combat tips and how you sync it with your weapon and how you execute it in game it's gonna go a long way for you not just for you know one boss fight but for every other boss fight you're gonna face because you're gonna learn from them and you're going to become more and more versatile and effective in this game. Alright, so if you enjoy it, uh, subscribe and check out the rest of the content on our channel. As always, thanks for coming by, and I look forward to speak to you guys again very soon.